Hello and welcome to my tutorial. I will show you how to download, install and test my application L2T admin. Okay, first things first, we need to go to L2T admin dot blogspot dot com. Okay. Uh, if you scroll a few posts down and you will find the link from here, you can download it. Okay. It's an add dot, uh, dot, uh, adf dot ly link. You need to wait a few seconds here. Okay. We do skip the ad and go here. We download it from Mediafire, okay? As we see, it's downloaded, okay? We just need to set up our server, so we actually have to enable Telnet. Okay, we can do this either manually from changing the properties file in this folder or by using a, a tool from the L2J server team. I'll use a tool it's easier both for you and me okay let's check a few stuff here we go to the telnet tab we do enable telnet we enter port something like six uh, five 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 or something and the status password if you use it uh, if you don't use it locally you should enter something really hard uh, something really good but I'm testing it locally, so I'll need um, just an easy password. Okay, we need to enter this host to uh, this IP to which binds on all our local host IPs. Okay, save it. We've done with the game server. We need to set up the login server now to jconfig again. Telnet tab. We enable Telnet. Status port six five five five. Status password pass one two three, and we enter the IP again. For it's four zero actually. Okay, saved again. We now need to run the login and game server. Okay, game server. Okay, I will. Uh, okay, you can see that uh, telling that the server is, has successfully started on port six five five five. We wait like a minute or so for the game server to load I will pause and unpause it when it's ready okay server is ready you can see this again okay it's also started on the game server console we can now test L2T admin okay we run this we need to check our preferences is the same IP password change the password to pass123 Okay, when you actually save the password, it will be saved in an encoded form, so it cannot be easily found, but this has a bug. I mean, like, if you save the password twice, it will encode the encoded version, and this will result in a wrong password. So just type pass123 and save it once. Okay, setting saved. Let's try to connect. Okay, it's already connected, so... We click this connected server reading server data it has sent the password okay password is correct we received we can see here the connection accepted from localhost okay it has two connections one connection was the test one and the other is uh, the one we use right now the one that's open right now okay we can send the command to shut down the server let's try it shut down and abort shut down just for test purposes okay 59 is the number of, of seconds you can find a detailed uh, command list here in l2t admin that blocks but go to help tab you can find here what each command does and how to use it okay just a moment sorry for the uh, for the interruption okay we execute the command okay uh, um, actually something went wrong uh, server was terminated okay actually we terminated the login server let's try terminate game server first we need to start the game server first okay game server actually let's not enable telnet on login server we don't need to enable telnet on login server Okay, disabled save okay running again starting login server okay we should start the game server too okay starting 
Uh, we'll do the same thing as before, pause and unpause when ready, so you don't have to wait. Thanks, uh, just a moment. Okay, game server is actually running again. We only care about the, the game server actually this time. Okay, just need to uh, execute the LDT admin tool. Okay, running it right now. Okay, connecting. Starting, yeah, we sent the password, it's okay. The password was actually one, two, three. Okay, let's try to shut down the server. It's one of the commands we can do. Uh, okay, time numbers only. If you click twice this, it will actually get the command. That's why we got an error. Okay, we shut down the server. Server will shut down in 59 seconds, you see. This I actually wish it's the shutdown command. Let's try to stop it, shut down. A, A stands for abort. Okay, uh, abort. Okay. Uh, well, this the command was actually abort, not uh, shut down with a as an argument. Okay, shut down was aborted. Okay, we can do a lot of other stuff. Uh, most of those stuff you can find over the help tab. Let's try something like status or announce. Let's announce something, which is uh, something critical, actually. Announce uh, hello players. Let's check this announcement sent. We have actually announced this over our server. We don't receive anything here because this command uh, has no output on the game server console. But we received from the talent session this which means we received something that uh, shows us that our command was actually sent successfully okay we have another list of commands something like kick or zim chat message mem usage status help and stuff like this we can debug enchant give items to players and jail jail a player whatever okay all this without the need for a client okay this was actually it i will be releasing a new version with a few bug fixes and performance tweaks as well okay until next time see ya